What's the crack, lads? We are back with another episode in our training guide series or back with another review of these cards. So a few people have been asking me about these in the comments. I put up the Zico, Nedved and Guardiola one, but there's actually players in this pack as well. So what they're doing now is they're putting a club selection or a national team selection or just kind of a mixture of players into these with the booster epics on the Monday instead of it releasing on Thursday. I mean, let me know if that's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Do you like that this is Monday or do you like or that these packs are going out on Monday or do you like that it's kind of the older way? Let me know if you're a bit of a, an older fan, right? Personally, I think that the spotlight on these needs to be higher. I think there should be objectives tied to these, but we get into that in the live stream later, right? So we've already done Zico, Nedved and Guardiola. You can check out that video if you haven't already. I'm going to hide my face here now because I do look rough. And also, I don't want to get in the way of the stats with the player builds as well that we're going to be taking a look at, right? So there is Ruben Neves, Verratti, Zelinski, Brozovic, Rabio, Lindstrom, uh, Bekasatis, and of course, we have Henderson, right? So I would say, right, straight off the rip, I would say that unless you're using Henderson, he's down as a box-to-box. -box. His speed and acceleration and balance are way too low for a box-to-box, -box, personally speaking. Um, he does have some nice player skills, but he is missing... He is missing one or two defensive skills that I would like in my box to box. Um, so he's kind of a he's kind of like straight away uh, kind of wrote out written off for me. We also had this guy from Greece, uh, Bakasetas. This guy has only got standard form. He's on A rating. He's got nice player skills, but he doesn't have the two important ones. And there's a lot of work to be done to get this guy into you know, a starting lineup. Now, he can play center forward as well, but personally, lads, you can just buy a standard attacking midfielder that will outperform this guy. So I would say save your spins. Unless you're a big fan of him, you could just get the standard version of him at that, right? So the two of them, I'm not really going to concentrate on too much. Also, with Rabio, we will show you a training guide for him in just a second. But Rabio is a very interesting player as well. I found from playing with him, um, that he just wins a lot of ball, right? He's got lovely, lovely player ID for some reason. Maybe it's got to do with the French license that they have, that he gives a little bit of extra love. But I do like this kind of build of him. You're only going to be getting the speed and acceleration into the 70s or low 80s with speed, and stamina is going to be okay. But I just find that he gets a lot of ball. He gets on a lot of ball. He knocks a, a lot of ball uh, away from opponents and stuff. Obviously, he's not a meta center midfielder, but he's actually quite a nice option to have, right? Other than that, okay, we're going to have a bit of an issue with this pack because there's a lot of players that just are not good enough, such as Henderson here. Um, you know, Rabio's not going to really replace any of your starting center midfielders if you've got one there. I always maintain, lads, if you are playing center midfielders, I have a video coming on how to build a squad, but I still think Anchorman or Destroyer with a box-to-box -box is the best um formation that you can have you know in a two-man center midfield and then either have an attacking midfielder or have two wide players or have all three and only one man up front but we'll get into that we've already got the video done now Lindstrom I'm gonna wait till last because he's probably the pick of the pack here but we've got a lot of very similar players so these four players are pretty much identical even though they're down as different positions well these three definitely are Brozovic, Nevis and Verratti right Verratti and Lindstrom are probably the picks of them, right? But the rest of the players here, when you have, say, the likes of Ruben, D Ruben Neves, right? So Ruben Neves here, his stats are quite decent. He's got some good player skills. He's got nice low lofted pass. He doesn't have a one-touch pass, which is a bit of a bust on him. But his card is actually really nice with that low passing. Plus, he's also got really high defensive capabilities. So if you are spinning for Guardiola and you get Neves, I would probably stop at that and say, right, I'm happy enough with Neves because he's not that far off Guardiola in terms of how he performs on the pitch. And defensively with 88 aggression, that's insane for a card like this. Now, obviously, if you want to play him as your kind of arc orchestrator like Kevin De Bruyne a little bit more attacking you can just keep this I would say at maybe four and um, to have the aggression still at 80 you can max out the passing if you wanted to do that which is really really nice or else you could take the passing back to 90 without the manager boost there if you wanted to go that route and you could put, pump up the dexterity quite high to like 78 plus you could get the dribbling up to 88 ball control so that's a very very good attacking build if you wanted to go that route with him and still have the passing in the high in the high 90s or mid 90s you're going to have 80 acceleration nearly 90 balance stamina is going to be key ball control is going to be brilliant that's a really attacking build right but for the likes of him him and Brozovic are going to be very similar i think you know train up a little bit of defense have your passing and just dictate from the back Think of an orchestrator, lads, as somebody that is like, you know, a really deep sitting DMF that just sprays the ball around without getting forward. So the likes of Pirlo is probably the prime example of a legend, uh, a legendary player that you might know 
um, you know, or somebody like that. He's not going to be breaking up play like the likes of Rodri or Casemiro or bursting forward like Goretzka or Bellingham. It's going to be kind of a more slower-based possession type player. And it's very interesting that they've released these players all similar because that is where the meta is at the moment, I think, is being able to control the play. If you are learning the game, that is the best way that I would do it, right? Now, we also have Zelinski, who I'm going to get into here. Zelinski is, is a real machine of an attacking midfielder, and he's only overshadowed by Lindstrom, who will get to last but not least, right? This guy's really, really good. I played with Zelinski quite a bit before. You can see here that he goes to a 95 overall attack and midfielder, and that's without any manager boost. That's without any of the boosts with the new managers, Xavi, Ten Hag, or Arteta. Um, you can get even more speed or better uh, low pass or balance on that ball control if you want with those managers. Like, for example, if you were to go with... Um, Ten Hag, you're going to get the speed boost there. So you're going to get his speed over, you know, about 85, 86 with the manager boost. So I do like this card as well. And then last, we do have my main man from this pack, Lindstrom. So this guy is a beast of a player. His form is inconsistent, which is a bit of a worry, but I would only be ever using a player like this. Listen, would I spin for this guy potentially to get him? No, but if you're in pursuit of spinning, you have maybe 20 spins and you're like, right, I'm going to chance getting Zico and you get this guy instead. He's a phenomenal hole player, not only for a squad rotational player, if you're looking to you know, have a bit of crack and have different players on, but also to learn the me mechanics of the game quite a bit because he's the perfect balance between a hole player and somebody that can carry the ball and pass the ball and dribble the ball and pretty much do everything with the ball, right? And I'm going to show you why. So his player skills are really, really nice, apart from one touch pass, which he doesn't have, but he has everything else that you could possibly want, apart from low lofted. So you can give him that if you want to tell a legacy transfer or whatever, but his stats here as a young player are phenomenal right now this is again without any player or manager boosts any player proficiency boosts you're going to have 90 type possession and we still have points to go right we 14 progression points left to go with this guy with 90 acceleration 88 balance 89 ball control 90 type possession 84 low pass this is where it comes into that if you shoot a lot you can actually pop this up to 78 and still have one left over if you wanted to go with that low pass into the 85 zone if you want to go that to bring him to a 94 overall if you do not um shoot a lot with your attacking midfielders if you use them more as a link up man and you just kind of pass and move pass and move and then just try and tap in you don't need higher than 70 to finish you know with the way that the gameplay is balanced you don't need more than higher than 70 to finish simple tappings um you know he's not a striker he's not going to be curling him in or banging him in from anywhere but look at the rest of his prime real estate stats lads absolutely insane leaving the finishing off the track there we can actually get the low passing up to 88 so with manager boost we are going to have ball control tight possession low pass balance and acceleration all into the 90 zone which is going to be absolutely phenomenal um, for a player that you could actually get quite you know easily. I think, well, it's all look at a draw, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know uh, overall, as this is a very disappointing selection, in my opinion. It's a very disappointing selection to throw in with these ones. I would say Zico and Nevid are good. I would also say that Verratti is a machine. We have Verratti last here. Um, I nearly forgot him, but Verratti is a machine as well. You can look at him. He's very similar. If you play him in that kind of like box-to-box -box type role, he can actually play it because he's got high acceleration and good stamina and uh, again he is going to be a phenomenal player even if you leave the defending aside right if you leave the defending completely alone there and you want to boost up his passing you don't need to go too high much higher with that you've got dribbling you've got everything that you could possibly want there you can actually get his dexterity up to 86 with 98 balance if you want to go that route um or even if you wanted to go there and that's with aerial strength as well you don't even need aerial strength if you're playing that positional type game you can have this guy as just an all-round monster like he's just an attacking monster um if you want to play him as an attacking midfielder so let me know but yeah for me it's a disappointing pack to be honest with you lads when we break it down like that um so yeah i would save your coins for all of these to be honest which is Zico is a machine but i already have him nedvid i've so many players in that role i would love him um but it would be more kind of like a fan pick rather than actually needing him in my squad and guardiola i think is a big bust uh in my personal opinion but let me know i could be wrong let me know what you guys think and i'll be back quite soon and we will talk to you then peace